My name is Davon Cloyd. I'm a student here at Bioscience High School, but I go to South. I have to travel to play sports if I want to play sports. Uh, yeah, like I said, I play for South Mountain and I play football. So, you know, me being a junior here, I'm already super busy. So, beforehand, before I had Loretto, who also plays at, at South with me, I had to catch the bus, which was means I have to leave like right after school, which also means like I can't stay for learning lab and stuff when I get like trying to get help with work. So before he was picking me up, I'd have to catch the bus, which is like an hour bus ride. I prioritized sports a little bit because that was my only like outlet. I was missing like so many, so much material from physics and second semester when we were doing like reassessments and stuff, I couldn't even, it's like super hard to catch up because I don't know what I don't know. I wouldn't highly advise it. You have to make sure everything is A1. You have to make sure you're gonna get home at a certain time, you live close enough, and all that other stuff. But at the same time, if you love it enough, like I did, you're gonna make time for it. So it's just communicate. I would communicate every day with your teachers and your parents and stuff like that to make sure everything is cool before you make that decision. And then after that, if everything checks out, then I would say do it. I got. My grades were like a lot lower. They weren't like bad. I got a C in physics recently, but I know I could have done better if I had a lot more time. Sports was like my outlet. But then there were so many other factors. Uh, like I live in Casa Grande, which is an hour away from here. So after I get out of practice at seven, I don't get home until nine. And then game days when games end at nine o'clock, I get home at like 11 o'clock. So I was tired. I couldn't keep up with my schoolwork. And then football was just, it was just, it was fun, but at the end of the day, when I had to deal with the real world, it just, it was just, I couldn't juggle it all. Because this isn't like a traditional high school, and the teachers and the staff are always talking about, you guys need to have the best high school experience coming here, and you guys need to find a way, you know, to make it your own experience. Well, that's what sports is for a lot of people. There's a lot of people that I know who play sports. So it's almost like they're telling us to have this own experience, but when I went out and found that, they worked with me, but it was only so much they could do. And at the end of the day, it was what it was. Hi, my name is Jaime Lara. I am a student athlete here at South Mountain High School. During game days, I usually am let out five minutes earlier from class and from going from class to the locker room. I usually stop at the vending machine just to get a quick snack before the game. And then I head on to the locker room. Once I'm in the locker room, it's usually about 30 minutes before game time, and I am able to get all my gear ready, able to stretch, and just get loosened up before the game starts. So even then, once I get there, I get into trouble for my coaches, and they're on my back. They're like, why are you late? I'm like, I can't not be late. I have to leave right after school just to make it here late. If I leave any later, I'm just gonna be even more late. But at the end of the day, it was what it was and I had to do what I had to do. My name is Nick Lewis and I go to Bioscience High School. I mainly play tennis like outside of school, but inside school, since we don't go to tennis, I play basketball a lot. I like that sport as well. Well, I was going to go to, well, this school doesn't really have sports like as a program here, so you have to go to your um, school near your house or like in your district. So I live right next to Shadow Mountain near Paradise Valley Mall, if any of you know where that is. And um, I was gonna play tennis there, and they're like, um, "No, you can't. We have you have to actually enroll in one of our classes, like at that school." So we were like, "No, I'm not gonna pay to get into one of your classes just so I can play tennis there." So I haven't been able to play tennis at like, a school. So that's the reason why. 
I would like to see, um, maybe not like a full on program just yet, but like to start, maybe like have a small group of people that can find a place to play sports like for the school and then like grow from there, you know? Well, I use tennis as a way to like work out and to like stay fit. And since I haven't been able to play tennis, I've lacked on that. So like it personally affected me through like my exercise and my health and stuff like that. And I just find a lot of friends that way as well through tennis. Try and find ways that you can play sports. It's not just about playing at your school. It's there's a lot of other options, but in the long run, it's just get a couple group of friends and just play whatever you can and do whatever you can to do it. So. I think at bioscience, teachers can make time for students to move around during their classrooms throughout the normal learning day to ensure that they're not getting bored and they're not sitting still. Um, any kind of kinetic movement and release of energy will help students focus a bit more in the regular day. But that definitely doesn't go far enough in providing physical activity to students that are really athletic or during their teenage years when they're growing and they really need to be expending energy. I think creating movement uh, once per week so that students can get up, move around, bond with each other, take some time to blow off steam and really get into their bodies and not think about school will help them be more present in the classroom. I also think that as a small school, we can support intramural activities and any sports activities that our students want to organize. So for teachers, that means um, giving students time to organize and coordinate, being flexible and allowing students to um, maybe leave class five minutes early or come to class a few minutes late in order to meet with the principal or other teachers or each other to make sports activities happen. And I think teachers really need to attend and get involved when possible with physical activities and intramural tournaments that are happening here at Bioscience. For me, um, as a teacher and as a yoga teacher, I know there's a ton of mental benefits to physical activity anytime that you can increase your heart rate and um, increase the blood flow to the brain and just get out of your mind and sort of get into your body, you'll have great physical results. This activity is, it's, what it means is the act of being active, which is different than just moving. Like, we all move. People know that it's good for you. Uh, I don't think there is a stigma per se, but people nowadays, they don't want to work. So, because it's painful, because it's uncomfortable, people don't want to be uncomfortable, they want to be on their own little bubble, so they don't want to be bothered, uh, they don't want to get out there in the sun, they don't want to get in the cold. So at a bigger campus, uh, you're, you're supposed to take health, PE, there's multiple teachers uh, teaching PE weight training classes, so the opportunities for anybody who wants to be physically active can be inserted into their day their freshman, sophomore, junior, or senior year. And also, after, after school, there are sports and students can engage in more organized activities like you know, handball, soccer, basketball, football, you name it. Now here, the, the focus is different. The focus is academics. So, it's like you cannot compare both schools. Neither school is bad or good, it's just their focus is different. We often hear students here about science that they, they, they openly say they're stressed out, they're overwhelmed, and, and the overload of the work is too much, and you name it. So 
But you don't realize, they don't realize is that, uh, well, if they were to take 20, 30, 45 minutes tops of their day and work on themselves physically or just moving, they will actually gather a lot of benefit from it. You need to embrace, and eat. we need to get out of our comfort zone. And that, that's what the Embrace the Suck comes from. It's about embracing the process, it's embracing the little things. If you went to work out, you know, to the gym, or you went to practice something, whatever, practice something, and you come back the next day, I mean, you're, gonna, you're not gonna see a lot of changes, right? You go the next day, you're still you're not gonna see a lot of changes. There is gonna be one day that, three months into it, four months into it, you're gonna see like, oh, I have muscles. And the process sometimes is tedious. It sucks. <laughs> but it, it gives long-lasting long results. It builds habits, it builds character. It teaches you lessons along the way. If people don't wanna go through that journey, that embracing that journey, they're never gonna learn skills. I'm an athlete. 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 I am 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 an athlete.